Welcome back to James Lake Show. And today I'm going to take you on a tour of my 2000 and I think 10, I can't remember, I think 2010, SLS AMG. So guys, you know this car. If anyone knows it already, it's very special, this car, because it has doors that go up. And the reason the doors, sorry, I got a lisp. It's because I got my Invisalign in. You're going to have to just, uh, go with it because I'm not going to reshoot this. It is what it is. And, hey, guys, so what it's got is it's got doors on this car which go up that are meant to pay homage to the SL300, which came out in, I think, 1959. Someone comment down below. But that was, at the time, the fastest car ever put on the road. And look at this. How cool is this? So in 2010, right, I was at a nightclub. And I was outside the nightclub, and someone turned up in Marbella, and someone turned up in one of these, and everyone, like, crowded around the car. And business is going okay for me. I had like a C63 at the time. It wasn't in 2010. This is like 2013. But the car had come out in 2010. That's why I'm thinking about 2010. But anyway, I was like, wow, that is the craziest car I've ever seen. And I wanted it so bad. And all I did is think about that car. You know what? It was 2012 that was. But anyway, all I did was think about that car for 10 years. I was like, I'm going to get that car. I'm going to get that car. And at one point, it went really low in price. They were like £80,000 to buy at one point in the UK. And, uh, but my money was less than nothing at that point. Like that was in 2017 and business has bottomed out. Anyway, business blew up in 2020. And then I bought this in August of 2020, but I bought it for like 130 grand. I couldn't get it for 80. The prices have gone right up, but tell me this is not the most beautiful car. Look at it. Come around the front. Despite the fact that they call it a 63 on the side, it's got a 6.2 liter engine. One sec. It's got a 6.2 liter engine. It's naturally aspirated V8. It just sounds mental. I'll start it up in a second and you're going to get to see it. Because I bought this car as an investment, I've done very few miles in it. I've got a black SLS Cabriolet. Those who follow the channel are going to know. And I've done some miles on that. What I've done is probably 7,000. I bought it at 7,000 and now it's got 14. This, I bought it at 13,000. And it's now only got 14,000 or 14,500 miles on it. Literally done barely any miles. But I'm taking it on the Canon run. So over the next 24 hours, I'm getting the tires switched up. And I'm getting new stickers put on. What do you mean new stickers? I'm getting the stickers put on. Canon run stickers. I keep stressing because I think people are going to come and hit you from behind. But they're not. You're good. So yeah, I'm getting black Canon run stickers. And we're doing the NC500. It's going to be badass. So yeah, look guys. Beautiful red interior suede roof and if the car is ever on its roof like when it flips over or something you've crashed it these actually have little explosives in and they explode the hinges away so you can drag the doors away so you're not trapped otherwise if the like roof was upside down you wouldn't be able to hinge the doors open if that makes sense so yeah and something very very impressive about this car unlike my lambo where you've got no space you could literally pack suitcases in there tons and tons of space for an exotic car and how cool it looks with all the doors open. Like, I don't think there's a more beautiful car. I know I'm biased, but I know the Lambo I like because like, we all like the attention or whatever. But this doesn't really get the same level of attention. But it's such a sick car. It's so badass. Right, listen to me start it up. Am I graceful getting out of that? That's the hard thing. You've got to get like over this. And I've hit my head so many times on it thinking I was cool. But anyway, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. I'm going to be taking this on the NC500. And then after that, the Holland. I'm going to vlog the whole thing. So yeah, those who haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. And you're going to see a lot more of this car.